G'day everybody. Today in this video, we're going to go over how to hide and reveal different elements in the vMix titles. So for example, I have a tennis title here and what I wanna do is just display an indicator for who's going to be serving. So I've set up some hide and reveal elements in this title to show you that. So if I press this button here, I've set up some shortcuts to just toggle between who's serving between Smith and Wilson. So in vMix 22.0.0.60, we've added the ability to change the visibility in uh, the title editor. So you'll notice down here that we have different, we have a little eye here to make something visible or not visible. So in the GT title designer, I can create these visibility elements on something that I want to turn on and off. For example, I can turn all of these on like so, so that they're all available. Um, or I can leave them all off. Now I've set up shortcuts in order to turn on and off this visibility. So that means I can switch between who's serving or an advantage game by pressing a shortcut button. So I'll show you now how you can set up these vis visibility functions in the GT title designer. All right, so here is the tennis template that we have. Now you'll notice on the right hand side here, I've got the player one serve and the player two serve not visible. That's because when I load up the title, I don't want any of these visible. I want to be able to turn it on or off in the vMix title editor. So when I select an element that I want to be able to turn on and off in vMix, I just need to select it and then go to the data menu up the top here and then select show visible toggle. That will give me the ability to turn that visibility on and off in vMix like I showed you before. So you'll notice that here, player two serve, we've also got that. And then for the advantage ones down here as well. So player one, player two advantage. Um, I can show you what it looks like. So that's the advantage. And so I've got that with the ability to toggle the visibility on it. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove uh, these ones here. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Now you can use it for other elements as well. So you can use it to turn text on and off. So if you wanted to use a little lesser than or greater than symbol to indicate, you could use that too, but I like to create my own little icons here. So I've just created an icon in Photoshop and I'm going to open that. I'm gonna bring that into my production like so. So I brought that image in. I'm just gonna drop it here and I'm gonna copy and paste that to make it image two and then just bring that down like so. So now I have my two images over here on the right hand side. So what I need to do now is select the images, go to the data menu, and then tick the show visible toggle. And I'm going to do that for the second one as well. So now when I save this, when I go to vMix, I'll have the ability to turn these on and off when I need to. So now I'm going to go back to the vMix interface here. Now, as, I, as you might remember before, I was able to turn these on and off just by pressing buttons. You can probably hear those keys turning on and off the visibility. So I'm gonna show you what I've set that up in the settings. So if we go to shortcuts, you'll see the different shortcuts that I've created for it. So I'm gonna show you what I've done here. I'm gonna edit it. And so for the key control of A, the function that I've set is a new function here called set image visible on. So you can set vi uh, image visible like, as a toggle uh, and you can also do it for the text visibility down here. So if you had a text field that you wanted to turn on or off, you could select that here. But because we have an image, we're going to be selecting set image visibility on. Then for the input, you need to select the uh, particular title that you've got there. So that's the tennis title that we have. Then you need to select what image you want to make visible or hidden. So anything in the GT title designer that we've added that visibility to to toggle will appear in this list here. So we're going to select the serve, the player one serve. Now that's what we've done for the A key. Now you'll notice that we have a secondary A key set up as well. So the reason we've done that is we've set this one to set the visibility off on the second server. So when I press the A key, it's going to turn on player one and turn off player two serve. And then we've done the same for the S key. For this one, we've set the visibility on for the player two, and we're going to set it off for player one. So that means we can easily toggle just by pressing one button for player one and one button for player two. 
So now I'm going to show you how to set up the advantage key. So how do we can turn on and off the advantage key for our tennis match. So what I'm going to do is go to add and I'm going to just find the next key along which is the D key. I'm going to click OK. So the function that I want for this, I need to go to the um, title section and then go to set image visible. So this is going to toggle the advantage on or off. So with the other ones, I had it set up um, to switch between the service and they will they will alternate. But when you've got an advantage, it's going to go advantage, juice, advantage. So it's not going to necessarily switch advantage to advantage. So we're going to just set this um, to the toggle. So it's, we're going to be able to turn on and off the advantage key. So then I need to select the scoreboard and then I'm going to select advantage source for player one here. I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to just clone this and then edit and then pick the next key along so we'll go with the F key and what I need to do is then select the player 2 advantage and click OK. So what that's going to do is being by pressing the D or the F key it's going to toggle on or off the advantage for player 1 or player 2. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So now I'm going to press the D key which is the advantage and then I press it off and then the F key will turn it on and off like so. So as we mentioned before like the other one you need to toggle between like alternate between the service games uh, whereas with the advantage you're going to be going advantage to one player turn that off and then press the other key and then toggle that on and off. Okay so that is how you can toggle the visibility in the GT title designer and also in vMix as well. So we do have some templates by default. We have a couple of tennis templates at the moment. I'm sure there'll be more templates in the future, different sports ones that allow you to toggle different elements on and off. But this is uh, an example of how you can set it up yourself and also create the shortcuts to manipulate the visibility. If you do have any questions or anything, feel free to send us an email via our website. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.